Hello everybody, this is I'm Purse Happy 2 coming to you with a new video. It's been a while. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, during these special times, I'll just say special times. I'm doing well. Um, glad to be back on making a video. I actually have a few videos I need to make, so I'm going to try to talk fast, but not too fast. And hopefully you guys understand me. Um, if you like my videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up now. And if you like my videos, you need to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Um, trying to get my numbers up. <laughs> Even though I have not been making videos, but... Um, I do appreciate all my new subscribers and my subscribers that I have to my channel. To my channel, I do appreciate you guys. So, this first part of this video, anyway, is going to be uh, this month is breast cancer. As everyone knows, I do know some people that has overcame uh, breast cancer survivors, and I do support breast cancer survivors. So I wanted to share. What I had been carrying, I switched out of it because it got a little too heavy. Um, the Fuchsia Buckley. This is what I carried the first uh, two weeks actually of October in support of Breast Cancer Month. This is what I carried. You guys know this is a heavy bag. So I won't go into detail with this, but this is what I carried and I actually just switched out of it into a, another purse that I hadn't carried in a very long time. And later on, I'll do a video on that. But for now, this is my pink bag here that I carried in support of Breast Cancer Month. The other bag, pink bag that I have, uh, I did not carry this. I might carry it. I have a few other pink bags, um, just didn't want to dig down, you know, in the cave for it, but this is the other bag, this is the, Rex, I think, Rexford bag, and, um, I don't know if I forgot what color this is, um, it's a pink color, but this is a small Rexford Brenna bag, I believe. Um, as you can see, I have her stuff. I have to try carrying her next. Hopefully she won't be as heavy as the Buckley Florentine leather bag. That bag can get heavy. And I try not to put as much stuff in it, but sometimes I do. But anyway, this is my other pink bag that I may switch into before the month is out. I'm not sure. But this is it here. Um, I haven't did a video on this bag either, so it's Kind of new to my collection. She has feet at the bottom. This is what she looks like on the back. The leather is uh, really smooth, soft. So we'll see how she uh, works out. Being a small bag, I try to carry some small bags as well. So that I don't carry large bags all the time. I actually started out carrying... Um, small medium bags and then it kind of went kind of moved up to the large bags I'm just putting this back in here um, so the next item I am going to show is um, this here is a Brahmin I happen to see this online at Macy's it's a little crossbody was ordering uh, items for my son, actually, who was going off to college. And I ended up seeing this at the bottom, you know, and they show little things going across the bottom. And I clicked on it. And this is actually the first Brahmin that I have purchased and own. Um, this is the tag here, how much it originally cost. I did not pay that. I actually paid thirty one fifty for this little bag. Um, yes, on Macy's on their website. Um, 
it's a cute little bag I thought it was cute it has a long strap as you can see I think it's 24 inches long or 25 inches long on the website it said um, it actually came with a dust bag I can't believe it for this little purse so this is the dust bag this is the little car that was stuffed in here and I still have paper in here but this is how it looks on the inside it's pretty deep as you can see this is the has a little zipper pocket in the back wall here and this is the zipper pool it has a key keeper in here how cool is that and it's in look like kind of gold color this is the key keeper short which is what don't need to do when they have small bags but they put a long key keeper in their bags but yeah this is how deep this bag is it don't doesn't have feet or anything like i said it's a little crossbody uh actually been i got this ooh, two months ago now and i have not used her yet but i do plan on using her um when i want to go light and i'll probably use it starting in the springtime who knows i might wear some jeans with it or something and wear it it still has a little plastic cover over the snap thing that's really cool i've never seen that before it has a little plastic piece over this so it doesn't get scratched and it still snaps this is the brahmin little logo here which is pretty in gold so i'll have to hang her up to get the folds out of the strap but this is my first brahmin little crossbody i just love it it's so cute and dainty and the next item i'm gonna show in this video is gonna be this here i picked this up at nostrum's rack um i've seen this on uh tj i think tj max website emails that i get only thing they just didn't have this little thing on it it doesn't have feet or anything but the strap goes all the way around um it's just it's in that um that uh, what is this material now i can't think of it it's like a foam mesh something um it's washable so i can't put it in the washing machine it comes with side snaps and you can make the bag smaller i did see dooney at it um 615 do a video on one that she has it's not this same uh, design but it's the same style this bag does carry a lot the only cons that i don't like is it doesn't it didn't come with like a ring around the hole here so i don't like that it probably will or could lead to a stretch out of shape hopefully not but it has a pocket on the inside this is the brand here um it came with a little pouch on the inside you can actually take it loose it just hooks it's a hook and it hooks on here and it comes off i just have some work stuff in here my um a mask and some uh personal items here in here but this is how big it is on the inside and in her video she shows how big her bag is it definitely holds a lot it can hold a lot and this came with a it came with a bottom piece for the bottom um this is wipeable so it doesn't have a give at the bottom when you're carrying it so this is how it looks on the in i mean the front and this is the back side of it and i just like this little this not little but this uh big bag so i throw stuff in it i've been using it as my work bag instead of a actual purse tote so this is how i look when the 
snaps are uh, snap on the sides. It folds in. So this is pretty neat. This was fairly cheap as well. A little cheap throw, throw me back. So yeah, these are the few things on this video that I'm going to show. And I'll do another video. I'm going to do a few videos. So let me keep going. Thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Me showing you some things that I had purchased um, a few months ago. A couple, a few months ago. Just hadn't done a video on, on them or anything. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you really like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I don't bite. I don't mind. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.